Yeah, the one step forward, two steps back, I, I think it's pretty obvious. For me, at the beginning of uh, starting, there was a tweet that came out when I realized I was coming to this uh, panel and doing all of this. And I, I just thought I was doing this panel. And I thought, um, great, you put me on the race panel. And then you put these five white men as all your headliners yes. for this conference. Uh, and I tweeted them back. And they said, oh, we've had diversity in the past. And I said, OK, that's a little disturbing to me. So I think just the example of what we are right now, look at us. We're sitting on a panel about race in a small room. And we are not the headliners, because we are never the headliners uh, in a lot of cases. And I, I, I don't, it's not sour grapes. I'm very happy to be here, all of that. And it's hard to say it, right? Because they won't invite you back next time, right? But you can't not say it, right? And my mom immediately was, Melody, don't do this. This is very bad. You should, this is reverse racism. And I'm like, mom, there is no such thing. Like, I couldn't even explain the whole thing, because she's an immigrant, right? Like, she just came here. And when she came here, it was very different. And it was a very different experience. But I think that's a really good example. Uh, just in front of us right now. <laughs> so. Did you tweet back? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that was something. They gave that... me some names of people who had come in the previous years. One of which uh, was a gentleman who was an Ashkenazi Jew, and I had to like say that he was Ashkenazi, and was technically white. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> Sorry. I was like, really, that doesn't count. But it's all right. <laughs> but in a sense, that's part of the problem, right. that, that it's, a, it's a constant struggle. Um, one of the things that I appreciated so much about ta Coates' book, which I'm, I'm sure many of you have read and all of you have heard about, Between the World and Me, is that he defines struggle as a kind of thing that is going to be part of your life and that you just sort of accept it and allow that to be something that defines you and that you don't define yourself in terms of a kind of, if we can accomplish this, then we will have been you know, successful. But a, a sort of understanding, struggle is always going to be part of this. And you know, this idea that, well, we had diversity last year <laughs> as an acceptance for the fact that we don't have it now is the sort of thing that must be struggled against. And it's, it's not pretty, and it's not fun, but it's where we live, and to a certain extent, it's where we're going to live. 